Hinda Barmeni, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. You know, you must know you're special because I even dressed up for you. <laughs> How are you, sir? Man, it's the promised land and we feel it uh, blacker than ever, black oh. as ever. Mm. And we want you to feel black as you could be. Let, let, let's go to um, your family side. Were you the black sheep of the family? No. Nah. Would you say so? Around my father and my mother, it was always cool to dream. You know what I mean? If I seen something I like, they ain't tell me, don't look at that, nah. Because just being in the struggle, me trying to get in the game where hip hop wasn't as real as really popular. I was coming up in Miami where it was about dance music, mm. sexy, you know, chicks in bikinis. Wow, so you're good with the ladies. You're a ladies man. And that wasn't me. I was a fat poor kid, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I wanted to get some money. Wow. So what advice would you give us if you were the CEO of Podcast and Chill Network? Study the business you want to go into. Be realistic with yourself. Hey man, he's smart. He's smart. You got to push yourself sometimes. You got to push the envelope. You can't be scared to come into a room full of white people and sit down with a big dream. It's crazy that you say that because you're going through the same thing. We were in a meeting uh, last week with Saul. A, a room full of white people. And they want to spend money on the podcast, but it's our own people. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tearing us down. Mm. I'm in too you know, powerful of a position myself. I don't need to do nothing I'm uncomfortable with. Mm. I don't need to do nothing where I feel I'm in debt to somebody. Right. Nah, we could win together. That's what we could do. And I got this idea and I got this vision and I'm gonna go out there and make sure it work. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Do you hear what he's saying, sir? Yeah, I get it. Sure. What do you want to be remembered as? You know, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that up to the real Rose fans to mm. decide. You know what I mean? Because um, my drive for success is what motivates me. You understand? And what's your stance? Because now you're well established. You know, you're a very prominent figure in the public eye. What's your stance on education? Because you don't even have a metric, right? 